Good morning, dear students. As you know, we are doing chapter number six time, and in this chapter, we have already learnt about seconds, minutes, and hours. Today, we are going to learn how to tell time in different ways. Let's start. Dear students, till now you have learnt that there are sixty minutes in one hour. If we divide sixty minutes into four equal parts. then tell me how many minutes will be there in each part on dividing 60 minutes into four equal parts there will be 15 minutes in each part dear students 4 multiplied by 15 minutes is equal to 60 minutes it means 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour students see if time is 15 minutes more than an hour it means minute hand is pointing to 3 then the time of first 15 minutes will be shown as quarter past for example look at this clock it is showing quarter past 12 so we will write it as quarter past 12 in the same way if minute hand is on 6 it means 30 minutes then time of 30 minutes is called half past This clock is showing twelve thirty. Here thirty minutes means half an hour. So for half an hour we will say half past twelve. So students, when minute hand is at nine, here nine means forty five. Then to tell the time of forty five minutes, we use word quarter two. We write time in quarter two, students. now you can see the minute hand is pointing to 9 and our hand is closer to 12 and time is 11:45 you know for 45 minutes we use word quarter to so the time is quarter to 12 it means 15 minutes to 12 let us see some more examples of time for example in this clock the time is 2:15 for 15 minutes we use the word quarter past so here time is quarter past 2 in second clock our hand is between 4 and 5 and minute hand is on 6 this clock is showing time 4:30 here we use word half past 4 and the third clock is showing 3:45 so today we learned that for 45 minutes we use word quarter to so here time is quarter to 4 dear students let us see how to write the same time in two different ways for example the time in the given clock is 8:45 so we will write 8:45 students now we know that the time is 8:45 but we also know that 15 minutes are left for 9 o'clock so we can write it as quarter to 9 as you know we use the word quarter to for remaining 15 minutes so we can write it as quarter to 9 students let us do one more example the time shown in the given clock is 6:40 so we will write it as 6:40 students as you can see the hour hand is between 6 and 7 and the minute hand is pointing to 8 it means 20 minutes are left for 7 o'clock so we can write it as 20 minutes to 7 today's pass question tell the time shown in the given clock here we have four options option a is 5:45 option b quarter to 6 option c 15 minutes to 6 and option d is above all students here you can see that the hour hand is a little more than half way between the 5 and the 6 even though it is closer to the 6 we would still say that 5 is our number because the hour hand has not passed 6 yet now let us talk about the minute hand the minute hand here is pointing to 9 so here time is 5:45 or we can say 15 minutes to 6 
or quarter to six. So option D is the correct option. That is above all. It's time for homework now. So dear students, today we learnt how to write time in different ways. In the same way, you have to do all parts of question number one of exercise six point two in your notebooks.